Brown joins us live from Elk Grove checking things out. Hey, Camby. Good morning. So we are celebrating National Tooth Fairy Day, and we have the lady there herself. She is joining us this morning at Surfside Dental, and we have some kiddos that are helping us out. So first of all, show us the little stuffed animals that you guys are holding so we can see the mouths. Because I love their teeth. They have very beautiful teeth in there. And the kids work on learning how to brush the stuffed animals' teeth. And so, Kima, why is this so important to start here with the kids in learning how to brush the teeth? Go ahead and show us how you guys brush those teeth. Well, it's imperative for dental health. And so, you guys start with this. Is this probably the first way to get your kid interested in brushing their teeth? And to get them excited, absolutely. You want, you want them to see how to do it themselves so they can feel like they're almost a dentist themselves cleaning teeth. What are some of the most challenging things that parents face when it comes to trying to get their kid to brush their teeth? Um, mostly it's when the kids fight back. They don't want to floss. They don't want their parents in their mouth. Most kids want to do it themselves. Okay, we'll get to flossing in a second. If your child is little, What's a good age or a good realization that you need to start brushing their teeth? Well, we like to say first tooth or first year. So as soon as they get that first tooth in their mouth, you want to get them used to brushing their teeth. And how do you get them used to that? Because at one year old, trying to stick a toothbrush into a one year old's mouth seems impossible. It's definitely a fight at first, but if you're consistent with it, they grow to love it and they eventually they're saying, I want to do it myself, not you. And so that's how when we get to the stuffed animals, which is where they can then learn. Okay, let's talk about flossing. And I love showing um, this place, Surfside Dental. They did not have a dental office like this when I was a kid, okay? It was scary, it was just white walls. This is fun and exciting, and there's some fun things for parents too, which we'll get to in a second. So when we have some of the older kids, which some of them are playing video games yep. in there right now, which they get the chance to do here, but flossing, when do kids need to start flossing? As soon as the teeth are touching, you wanna start flossing kids' teeth because they can get cavities if, you're, if you don't. Okay, going rate for the tooth fairy. What's the price, has inflation happened too much? A little bit, I like to say $5 for the first tooth, okay. and then a dollar for every tooth after that but your first one's so important so you got to give them something okay so the dollar is still standard yeah, right absolutely. because I was sharing with Kima you know I watched that teen mom show that crazy girl Farah gave her child $700 <laughs> I can't even get $700 out of my mom and I'm an adult right <laughs> so I mean that seems like a lot also Way parents Surfside Dental massage chairs Nice. Yep. And they have a location in Land Park, so I know where Malcolm's going to be going. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great setup. National Tooth Fairy Day, that's the way to do it. Find all kinds of ways to get them more involved in their dental hygiene.